I talked to Senator Inouye from Hawaii, Senator Stevens from Alaska, they the, those that handle the dark money of the defense budget. And I said, you know, with all these instances of uh, unidentified flying objects, why don't we take a look at this? And they agreed. In fact, Senator Stevens said I was in World War II. He was a fighter pilot, airplanes, he's up in the airplane, see something off his wing, tried to go sideways up, down, he couldn't get rid of it, got low on fuel. He went back down and asked for air traffic what that was. They said, we didn't see anything. So he said, yes, whatever you need money-wise, let's do it. And we did that. We did his so-called ATIP program. We spent $22 million of taxpayers' money, and we learned a lot. Okay, that's a, that's a bit of a cliffhanger, Senator. You spent $22 million and learned a lot, but can you tell us the top line of what you learned? Is there life out there? Was that a UFO on his wing? We, we've learned that there are lots of occurrences of unidentified flying phenomenon. We don't know what they are, uh, but now the militaries come around. Do they no longer tell the pilots to ignore them? They don't want their pilots to report them. We have better photography equipment on airplanes, and we're getting much better pictures of where we got the so-called Tic Tac off the coast of Virginia. Uh, so we're learning a lot, and what we have learned is that we haven't had a dozen of these unidentified flying objects. We haven't had a hundred, but thousands of them. And that's all been identified. I don't know what they are, but I guarantee you that Russia, which is run by former head of the KGB, I bet they're looking into it. I know China's looking into it. We know that France is looking into it. And we should continue scientifically trying to figure out what this is all about. Senator Reid, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. Please do stay safe. Thank you very much.